Hello there everybody, it is me Freezer Bunny and welcome back to episode 2 of Let's Play Wildlife Part 3. Yeah. So anyway, it did narrate a little bit your search for a suitable wildlife park where you can gain your first experience in personal management has been successful. A new park has recently been built outside the city. The director of the park has extended a personal invitation to you and is looking forward to meeting you. That's what it said before I started recording. So yeah, you guys welcome back. In the last part, we managed to learn like the really basics of how to run our own wildlife park and take care of animals. So this part I'm really looking forward to what it wants to do. So let's zoom into Mr. whoever his name is in. Welcome to our wildlife park. So you want to focus on personal management. <laughs> Naturally, I'm really pleased to hear that as we are in the process of expanding the staff. But first I will show you our park. Tip. Click follow in the command menu to automatically follow animals or people. Where is the follow thing though? Like, just follow, okay. Good. Take the time to have a look around our park. Our landscape architects have just finished wow. and the enclosures are already equipped to receive animals. Pretty. Oops. Well, I'd love to see the park, but I can't see with your big head up. That's where he wants us to look. Well, how do you like our facilities? We've gone to great trouble to create an environment in which both uh, the animals and the visitors to the park feel comfortable and happy. Now, we really want to make the park vibrant and teeming with life. We first need keepers, gardeners, and a vet. And of course, the animals themselves to run the park. If you click on the flashing button on the top left, you can view the files with the applications. The keepers are the most important members of staff. They replenish the feeding devices and keep the enclosures clean. Here in the applicant menu, you will find a selection of keepers I have sourced. All right. Now select a keeper. The applicants have different salary requirements and different abilities, which you can see below. I have made sure that our keepers have already acquired the necessary skills. Click Hire and place the keeper in the bison enclosure. That is the enclosure at the entrance, where you can see the large stone with the writing Wildlife Park carved on it. Okay, this is the bison enclosure and it looks like there isn't any bison. Yeah, no bison around. <laughs> Is that a bison? No, it's a tree. And looks like there's burnt soil here, whatever. Okay, um... All- literally, like, all of them have the same thing. Let's go with the cheapest person. I will click him and... When you select the keeper in the enclosure, his scope of tasks will be shown on the ground as a colored areas. So, he will only refill the feeding devices and remove the piles of droppings in this area. When you select the keeper, the enclosure, his scope will help. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you can also move the new worker around and change his position and reorganize his work tasks. Uh, try to position him as near as possible to the feed crib in the middle of the enclosure. Well done! From here, the keeper has a wonderful overview of the enclosure and has the shortest route to clearing up the piles of droppings over the entire area. You can use two additional buttons on the keeper you have selected to reduce or extend his scope of tasks. Try to organize the keeper's scope of tasks so that he covers the entire enclosure. What did it say? Uh, what did he want me to do? Oh, and it's lagging really bad. For some reason, the game is really laggy right now. Where's the scope of time? Might as well zoom in, I don't know. Is it over? Okay, extend scope of time. Ooh, okay. 
whatever, that works. And I guess he's gonna ask for more money. Oh, he wants to cover the entire enclosure, okay. <laughs> Excellent! Okay. Ideally, you want to set the scope of tasks to cover the whole enclosure, so the keeper can access every corner and keep it spotlessly clean. Uh, dirty enclosures can have a detrimental effect on the animal's hygiene and can lead to disease. Ooh, we don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, I think the time has come for us to receive our first wild animal. A trader has just notified us that he is offering a small herd of bison for sale. Please go to the animal trading section on the top left to inspect the bison. Alright, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Now buy all the bison and Ooh. place them in the bison oh. enclosure. There's lots of them. We have a ton of bison. It's getting really laggy, you guys. But whatever, it will work out somehow. Ooh. I hope I'm not hurting them. Well, the ground is shaking with thundering hooves as the bison are bristling with power. The keeper will now look after these magnificent beasts. Go and take a closer look at the bison if you like. Yay! Oh, it's, it's scratching its back. I don't know. Cool. Okay, fine. Yeah, I know. I get it. It's cool. The one next. It's really loud. Now let's equip the giraffe enclosure. Ooh, the the one next giraffe. to the bison enclosure with the high feeding devices that look like basketball hoops. To do this, Hire another keeper and buy the giraffes available in the animal trading section. Where is it? Okay, it's here. Oh, I get it. I'm, I'm getting like, I'm trying. I guess I understand now uh, how this thing works. <laughs> I guess it will work there. And let's move him a little bit. Over there, perfect. And he wanted us to buy some giraffes that were for sale. Three of them, cuteness. Oh, I am. Well, look at these for... graceful animals and how elegantly they move. I hope the keeper gets on well with these noble creatures, and that the facilities in the enclosure are perfectly suited to the animal's needs. Uh, please check this and buy any facilities you require. I would like to ensure that all the giraffes are satisfied. Tip: Animals from warmer climates often need heat radiators to feel well and happy. Okay, so I guess we have to check. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was trying to say that. I'm sorry if it gets a little bit laggy. Ooh, is it gonna walk with that on panel. I'm sorry if it gets a little bit laggy, you guys. Um, I hope you understand. My, my laptop is really not the best in the world, nor is it the worst, but I hope you understand the whole laggy thing. It's cold here and I'm freezing. Okay. So I guess we have to buy something. Uh, climate control unit, okay. Heat radiator. Can we put this? Um, how many do we need? I guess we need two of them. And then one over here as well. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Excellent! The giraffes have settled in extremely well here. I didn't think you would achieve that without my help. Yay! <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, do you want to stay around here a little longer, or do you want to get on with the next task? I want to freaking get on with it. Hey, time. some animals that are quite unusual have just arrived. Go have a look in the animal mm, training section. I wonder section. what they are. I wonder... Some pachyderms have just Ooh. arrived. Oh the God. enclosure is over there, where you can see the large stall. Now, try to add the elephants and another keeper to this enclosure. Okay, it's over here. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of elephants. Tons. Six of them already at once. Like the zoo actually in Manila where I live is really near my house. So 
my name looks really is really near where I live, so if you guys want to stop me, I'm kidding. Yeah, but it only has one elephant. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cute. And it wanted us to um, hire one. Whoa! We've just discovered a gap in the fence of the elephant enclosure, which we must mend immediately. Can you handle this urgently and install some fencing to patch up the hole? Where is it? Okay. Um... I guess it's over here. Yeah. Found it. Um, controls are really uh, slow a little bit. It's probably my only complaint. It's nothing like The Sims 3. But yeah, I, I think I'm a little bit biased because I'm comparing it to The Sims, you guys. <laughs> okay, what is that one that they're using there though? Like, whatever, it will work. It will work. Oops! Well, that was close. Uh, thanks so much for your help. Now, please ensure that all the elephants are satisfied. Okay, let's see what they want. Um, water. Can't they drink from here? So I'm curious. I'm doing really well. I'm just doing really well. Um, I would like to eat some fresh leaves. And this one needs some water. Why is it smoking? Oh, I, I think it's the grass. <laughs> okay. You know, I think it's the the, the the dirt that they pour over themselves. I think. Dude, okay, here we go. Some water for you. And some grass for you. Feed basket. Uh, leaves. There we go. Some grasses. And, uh, let's see here. This one, oh, it wants leaves though. Okay, and I guess another one. Okay, what else do they want? Oh, I feel bad for this one tree. Uh, it, <laughs> the ground here is too soft for me. A camel thorn tree. Let us check out. Uh, Preferred ground savanna grass. Okay, let's put that real quickly because I feel bad for that tree. Uh, oops, nope. There we go. What? Yep. And this one also needs our help. Preferred ground savanna grass. Okay, I think everything needs like savanna grass. Oh, look at the elephant. It's so cute. It's on the ground, rolling around. Cuteness. Oh my gosh, is this like our next mission? I hope it isn't. Alright, he wants some leaves, dude. Um, leaves? <laughs> Oh, he wants, like, a scratchy thing. It looks like he's gonna eat something already. Yay! Is he not gonna eat some leaves? Alright, can we next? We can't. Dude, I guess I have to put one more. Why not? And I'm gonna put one more of these as well. What is this? I guess it's the heat. I honestly don't know. Ah, oh, I love animals. They're so majestic, you guys. I wish there was like a perspective view where we can see them like with a wider. Uh, <laughs> wow, you did that the first time. You really helped us out there. Now, I had better take a bit of a back seat. Uh, Sophia, one of my staff, will look after you from now on. She's waiting for you by one of the restaurants over there. Alrighty, where is she? Um, and of course, it's getting a little bit laggy. Uh, where's the restaurant? Uh, please don't lag. Please don't lag. Oh my gosh, it's getting painfully laggy, you guys. 
Um, okay, you Hello. guys, I think I found her. I'm Sophia, the park director's right-hand person. You've clearly demonstrated your commitment. We don't see that very often, and we're really delighted. We'll have a bit of a change now. I want to show you something. Have a look in the small enclosure by the restaurant where we're keeping Alex, a young lion cub. <gasps> have you found him yet? Oh my gosh, it is getting really laggy. Found him, you guys! But it's alone though, it's this gigantic, literally like gigantic enclosure, and it's by himself. Okay. Unfortunately, Alex has been having a bad time and is totally exhausted. The International Organization for Animal Protection, Shu Chi Ba Hu Tin Chu, SBC, brought him to us. He was seized at the airport when some illegal animal traders were trying to smuggle him in. By the way, Shu Chi Ba Hu Cheng Chu means savior of the world in our language. It's Chinese, right? Ni hao, that's ya hao. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. <laughs> I went to a Chinese school for grade school, so eight years of my life I've been learning Chinese. Don't remember anything, but whatever. This lion cub also seems to be sick. We should call a vet to treat him. Please have a look at the applicants. There must be one among them who will please select the vet quickly. We've good. The vet has arrived. Let's see if he can make the lion better. Tip, you can issue orders direct to your staff by clicking on an item and then clicking the relevant button in the command menu. Where is the command menu? I don't know. Wonderful! Yay! The vet seems to have found some medicine to treat the lion. We must now do everything we can to restore Alex to full health. Please equip his pen accordingly. You will find some toys in the enclosure equipment section. Let's see here, some toys. Oh, you want some toys? Uh, let's see here, over here. I think he needs one of these. Yay! He wants. I'd love to have a good scratch on something. I would like more of my own species around me. Oh. Yeah! Look at that adorable. Okay, didn't he scratch on that? I guess he didn't. I guess he just played on it. Let's just put a rock somewhere. Yay! Oh. Well done! But Alex still needs some foliage around him to provide some shelter. Place some bushes in the pen for Alex. Bushes, okay. Good work! Alex seems to have everything he needs for now. I didn't even play. I think yet. we should quickly turn our attention to more gardeners. Otherwise, all the plants in the park will dry up. Please have a look at the list of applicants. Okay, wait a second, girl. Wait a second. Um, we're gonna place some bushes for him. I don't know, maybe these? And some oranges as well. <laughs> then I just want to make sure that the grass is correct for them. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, and as we have plants all over the park, we must hire more gardeners. That's a job you can do, and immediately issue tasks to them to ensure the entire park is covered. Tip: Don't forget to look after the park grounds. Okay, uh... Okay... So it, I think it's asking us to, like... Hire some gardeners? I honestly don't know. And... Oh, it's snowing! Yay!
You'll see an icon above the plants if they have not yet been tended, and these should gradually disappear until all the plants are satisfied. Tip, you have an overview of all the plants in the plant list. Call up the list using the button on the top right. Ooh. It's loading. Okay. What, what, is, what does she want me to do? Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. Is this, does this mean it's good? Like, I don't know. Okay, ooh, it's bad. Where is this? Where's that? I guess you're that. How was that? Uh, where is this? Oh, holy crap! Um, I guess I have to move some of them. Like, where is he? Where's the gardener? I, guess I can move him over here. To the rose orange is that rose orange what <laughs> and uh, hopefully he'll take care of them so beautiful this area oh so beautiful what you doing where's he going you hear that am i doing something wrong not. oh crap I honestly don't know what that's what's making that sound. It's really kind of scary. Uh um, you know what, you um the gardener, she's I can't be you. Okay. I really want you to be here. Okay? And please take care of the the roses. What the frickin' what the frick? Um it it wants water. Oh, Oh, yep, he's he's gonna be the one to water them. I don't know. Let's put another gardener. That's why the heck not. I think over here there is one. Oh, where is he? Over here. Yeah, and I'm just gonna move you to that one place. It's wall. Oh my god. Put him there. Okay, there we go. I guess she want she wanted me to water all of these ones individually. Oh my gosh. Obviously this is gonna take forever. Oh maybe all the gardeners that she wanted me to hire were supposed to go there. Why not? Let's might as well give it a try. Um where is he? Dude, okay. Let's also move him over there. I'm such a knob, you guys. I apologize for like all this crap that's happening. Like, this is my first time in the game. Like, ever. Alright, almost there. Perfect. Is this a seal? Oh, it's a seal! I will cut up some parts, so, so don't worry. Like, if, if it gets a little bit too long for you guys, definitely. Holy crap, oh my god, you guys, oh my gosh, like, this is too much. It's freaking too much. Okay, wait, wait a second. Holy shit. Um, where is the gardener over here? Where is he? Where is he? Let's move him. Where these things are. And, uh, where, what else needs, um, okay, these things also need some, some help, some taken care of, I don't know. Let's move him over here. Oh my gosh, I'm totally not doing this correctly. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my gosh, and the plants are not feeling good at all. What are you two doing? Just give them some water. I wish I can speed this up. Really so pretty though. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. And that other one needs to... Uh, I wish there was a mini-map that I can click so that would be faster. Okay, let's see here. Um, crap, there's so much. And where is he? Okay, I guess that's enough. No, um, no, no applicant though for gardeners. Over here. Oh my gosh, I should probably just cut this part out. So yeah, you know what guys, I'm just gonna take care of this thing really quickly and I'm going to be right back when everything is done, okay guys? Alrighty guys, we are almost there and please, the reason why it took me forever to like finish it is because that every time the gardeners would um, be able to take care of the plant, another area would have like plants that needed taken care of. So it's pretty much just taking him forever to like reach 100% over here so a little bit more just th these three tulips and it'll all be well and good so please take care of those before other plants begin like getting I don't know and one more thing guys like it is getting very late for me so I hope you guys understand like I'm totally out of it a little bit drowsy I just took some medicine because I have allergy and if you guys know, antihistamine makes you sleepy and it makes you talk shit. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh my gosh, but why am I talking like crazy? Almost there, he's watering the plants that need watering and stuff. Yes! Yay! Fantastic! All the plants in the park are looking splendid and my boss will be delighted. Alrighty. Many plants also produce leaves or fruits that are even suitable as food for certain animals. This has its pros and cons, but it could save us money in feed costs. Okay. On the other hand, we don't want the visitors in the park just to see half-eaten fruit and vegetation. So we must make sure we protect the plants from being consumed by the animals. So we can either place them outside the enclosure, or use extra fencing to separate them. But the gardeners need constant access to all the plants to look after them. Oh dear, I don't want to overburden you. Um, too late. She's kind of overburdening me right now, but whatever, it works. It will work out. <laughs> look, the park director is back. He'll surely want to have a word with you. Alrighty, let's go to him. <laughs> I must say, I'm astounded at how you've got to grips with everything. You have now learned a vast amount about personal management in wildlife parks. I hope this helps you with your college work, and I wish you every success. Is that it? Oh, it looks like that's it. Alrighty guys, so it looks like that is going to be it for episode 2 of Wildlife Park 3. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching, even though I'm really, really slow. Um, I promise in the next couple of parts I will try my best to be entertaining and to properly show you this tutorial section. So, you know what guys, I think I'm just going to end this part right here. All the links for my social media are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!